Alright, let's finish up all these trainer battles on the route, shall we? Starting with you. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? Of course not. That's not enough. So, Psychic Richard. He's gonna send out an Espeon. I can't wait to get my Espeon. So, level 35 Crobat against a level 36 Espeon. Good thing my Crobat's speed is giving me the edge here. But, I'm still hoping for the best. If I can get it, it'll really pay off. Alright, it hurt itself. Not a bad start. But hey, if we can pull through with this fight, it'll really pay off. Okay, and just one turn it was confused. I hate that so much. And it used Psybeam. That's going to hurt. Okay, you can stop. Thank you. Oh, man. Gotta do it again. I could have just used a bite attack and just, you know, try to make it flinch, but I'm not really comfortable with it. Come on, don't you? Yes! Alright! Alright. Alright, come on. Pull through. Got him! Alright! Woo! That's quite the boost right there. Oh, I can't believe I made that. Good battle. Good battle indeed, buddy. That was awesome. I can't believe I actually pulled that one off. I can't believe that. Okay, so for the next trainer, um, I think I'm going to switch to, I think I'm going, going to go ahead and switch to my Nido King. And let's go ahead, you know, let's go ahead and heal up. I mean, I, I know it's just my Crobat who's, you know, battled, but just in case if I have to use him again, just in case. Alright, let's battle this trainer. Look at me! Thank you! <laughs> Since you've come this far, you must be good. I'm going to give this battle everything I've got! So am I. But then again, we always give it what we've got. So let's see what you got. Cool trainer Joyce. She's gonna start off with... A Pikachu! Pika, 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 Pika! <laughs> so, let's see you try your luck against my Nido King. Not much, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I hit that Pikachu with just a single hit. Level 35. Awesome. And next she's going to send out a Blastoise. Oh boy, a Blastoise. Uh, let's see. I mean, Nido King would be a good choice, but I think Weeping Bell would probably be better. So Blastoise, the evolved form of War Turtle. This will be big experience if we can get this Blastoise. Uh, but of course, the Surf Attack may not be very effective, but I'm sure it's still going to do a bit of damage. Yeah. Okay, good. I put it to sleep. Very good. Very good. I wish I had a better Grass move than Vine Whip. That would definitely help out a lot easier too. That's not bad damage. I'll keep doing it. That's not bad at all. Maybe two more in that vine... Excuse me. Two more vine whips and it should put down the Blastoise. Provided it doesn't wake up. Alright, very good. We got him. We got him. Say good night. 1440. We're really paying off here, guys. No! I don't believe this! Well, you'll have to believe it. <laughs> but you refuse to believe it. Okay, for this next one... Let's see, I think I'll... Let's make... Yeah, let's send Crobat back out. Let's give Crobat some more time to shine. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. I mean, that much is obvious. That's way too obvious there, buddy. Cool Trainer Gavin. He's gonna start off with a Victory Bell. So, Victory Bell is the evolved form of Weeping Bell with a Leaf Stone. Unfortunately, I'm having to kind of wait in terms of um, 
evolving my victory bell. Because there's a very good grass move that only, you know, Weeping Bell learns that in the 40s. Oh, I took care of that victory bell with a single wing attack. Oh, see you later, alligator. Level up. But anyway, Weeping Bell learns that move in the 40s, so I'm going to have to wait until we learn that move and before I evolve my victory bell. Next, he's going to send out a Kingler. Uh, let's bring Weeping Bell back out. Kingler's the evolved form of Krabby. So unfortunate, fortunately, Kingler is not going to be very well suited for the Krabby Patty Seeker formula anymore. <laughs> and that stomp attack. Good thing it did not flinch me. And I connected with a sleep powder. That's very good. Still, I wish I had a better grass type attack. I mean, it's stupid to have a, you know, a, a grass type attack that's learned in the 40s. Oh, almost got that Kingler! Okay, but at least it stayed asleep. That's very good. Very good. Okay, so we got that. A pointless critical! I hate that so much! That's a big boost right there. It didn't level it up, but that's okay. Okay, now he's gonna send out a Flareon. Um. Let's go, Lapras. So unfortunately, this Lapras will have the easy advantage over this Flareon. Oh, that Flareon is going to be in deep trouble. Quite literally. 1357? Didn't even level it up. Good grief. Gah! Life is even tougher! That is obvious, too. That's a very, very true statement. Okay, now for this guy. Let's make our Typhlosion be out in front. Let's try out our new Typhlosion. Time for the Typhlosion Explosion. Typhlosion, Typhlosion, Typhlosion. <laughs> I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. You're not the only one. I'm trying to make sure I get a decent amount of experience throughout this entire route. And hey, we are. Cool Trainer Jake. Let's get start off with a Parasect. Parasect is the evolved form of Paris. And look at our Typhlosion. Isn't she pretty? She is pretty, oh so pretty. <laughs> so Flame Wheel will do some big damage. Got him! Only 904 experience. And funny enough, I actually caught uh, now he's going to send out a gold duck. Uh, let's see, I'll switch. Anyway, uh, while we're fighting this gold duck, I want to go ahead and uh, tell a story about about a parasect. Uh, let's see. Let's do Nido King. I caught a shiny a, a shiny parasect when I was playing Pokemon Fire Red one time, and it was at the uh, Cerulean Cave. And dude, that was just such a cool moment. Just catching a uh, just catching a shiny parasect in the Cerulean Cave. It was so awesome. And that's not bad. A screech?! That's all you're gonna do?! You can't be serious! You cannot be serious there, bud. Oh, but I guess he was. Because <laughs> we took him down with ease. 1305 experience, give it to me. <laughs> oh, man. I blew it! Yes, you did. Alright. So that's all the trainers along this route. Now I'm going to head back to the healing house, because I'm definitely going to want to be ready whenever we're going around, going across Victory Road. Victory Road's not going to be easy. So I'm definitely going to want to have my Pokemon be at their best. Alright, time to cycle our way back up. It's like everything that we're doing around here is like a never-ending cycle. <laughs> Quite literally. Alright, so we're back in Victory Road, but... Let's see. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokémon out there. That's very true. And you... Off to the Pokémon League, are you? The Elite Four are so strong, it's scary, and they are ready for you. <laughs> they really are going to be ready. Okay, so we're here in Victory Road. 
There are two hidden items here in Victory Road. And right here at the entrance in an isolated rock. Oh, I forgot to put on the repels again. But hey, we find an onyx. Level 33 onyx. It has the highest encounter rate in the in the uh, morning and day times here at Victory Road. So what I want to do is I'll go ahead and turn on... Excuse me. Use a super repel. And over here in this isolated rock, we find a full heal. So that's one of our hidden items here in Victory Road. That's only one of two hidden items. Okay, so we got to go up here. And then we'll go over here to the right. Because we got two items right here. We, <laughs> we find another full heal. Sweet. And over here, uh, okay, we find a max revive. So now we just have to go to the left this time. And in this ladder. Okay, now we are in this area. I'm gonna go over here and grab this item. Which is an HP up. Sweetness. Now we're going to head over in this direction. There's going to be a ladder. And of course we have to take it. And now in this area... We have to... I'm going to go over in this direction. If we drop down this hole here... We pick up this item. It's TM26. And you guys want to know what TM26 is? Well, you're going to have to wait, because here is our last hidden item. It's a Max Potion. <laughs> so those are the two hidden items here in Victory Road. And let us have a look at what TM26 is, shall we? It is Earthquake. Earthquake is a very, very useful ground-type attack. I'm definitely going to teach that to my Nido King. So, of course, I'm going to have to get rid of one of these moves, and I'll get rid of Poison Sting. Poison Sting served a very good purpose, but it's got to go in place of Earthquake. Very, very, very popular ground-type attack. It's very useful, too. Okay, I want to make sure if I'm going to be missing anything. Uh, actually, i got to take this path over here, and the Repel already wore off. No big deal. I'm just going to use another one. So there we go, right there. Now I'm going to go over in this direction. Because I want to get to that ladder down there. And this way takes us to a full restore. And that's everything uh, that there is to find here in Victory Road. But what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to save right here. Uh, but first I want to make sure I have a good Pokemon up in front to start it off. Yes, I do. I got my Typhlosion. I'll use my Typhlosion. I'll go ahead and save all that so we won't have to fight the trainers and go through Victory Road again. Alright, so now if we head up... Hold it! Are you going to take the Pokemon League Challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. Uh, I beat you four times in a row. How am I weaker than you? It's you who are weaker than me. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible! Chris, I challenge you! Alright, so here comes our fifth battle against Silver. So now he's got a full lineup, and he's going to start off with a Sneasel. So unfortunately, his Sneasel is an Ice-type, so that gives my Typhlosion an edge. Take it! Let's see if that takes it down. One hit! Ooh, a critical hit, too. I will gladly take that. Alright, one down. He's going to send out his Feraligator. Uh, let's go with the Weepin' Bell. 
Weeping Bell is going to make Silvers for Alligator weep again. Alright, here we go. Gotta put it to sleep first. And a slash attack. Oh boy. Come on, Weeping Bell. Stay in there. Alright, not bad. Put it to sleep, baby! Gotcha! <laughs> Sweetness. Alright, so I'm hoping it obviously stays asleep. It better stay asleep. It better do it. Ah, oh, that was a critical hit, huh? Okay, so far so good. So far. I want to make his Feraligator get its ass handed to him by my Weeping Bell again. Just one more. Yes! We got it! <laughs> I bet Silver's going to be pissed off yet again. That we defeated his Feraligator with my Weeping Bell twice in a row. 1710 experience. He's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. <laughs> Next, he's going to send out his Golbat. Oh, a Golbat, huh? Well, let's do, you know, let's do my Crobat versus his Golbat. Ah, uh, his Golbat's level 36, but wait. So is my Crobat. I'm so sorry, Silver. You have not been too friendly with your Golbat, hence why you do not have a Crobat like I do. Shame on you! A wing attack. Eh, that's not much. Well, shame on you! Now you're gonna feel... the power of happiness and friendship. Aha! It hit itself! So let's see you try and take down my Crobat. And that's how long it stayed confused, but no matter. We're going to easily win with my Crobat. The power of bond and friendship defeats your Golbat. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get for not having a Crobat like me. Now he's going to send out his Magneton. I'm going to switch to my Nidoking. Because Magneton is still an electric type. It is quad weak to ground attacks like Earthquake. Oh, take that, buddy. Yo, that is the power of Earthquake, folks. That is the power of Earthquake. Oh, boy. Now he's going to send out his Kadabra. Um, let's see. Kadabra. I think I will switch. Let's switch to my Lapras. Alright, his Kadabra. Come and get me! Let's give an... Oh, Future Sight. Oh. Better be careful of that, because in two turns, that, that move will connect. Let's see, an Ice Beam. Ah, oh, man, it didn't even take it down. Ah, uh, just give it a Body Slam. And it used Recover! Get out of here! Alright, buddy. You're so in for it now. Gotcha! See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya. Level 39 Lapras. Alright. And his last Pokemon is his Haunta. His Haunta. But I'm fearing for that future sight, because in the next turn it's going to a hit. Um. Let's see. Why don't we switch to my Typhlosion? I'm trying to not switch out to one of my poison types, because, of course, psychic types work well against poison, obviously. So I gotta switch to my Typhlosion, because that future sight is gonna hit this turn. So I'm actually hoping that this Haunter will use Curse. Alright. Shadow Ball, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, that's not much. Yep, there's the future sight. That's a pretty strong psychic move. Huh. <laughs> Not much. And that is gonna do it, folks. Five times in a row! What do you got to say to that? What do you got to say? I couldn't win. 
I gave it everything I had. What you possess, and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me.